Hey guys, Luke here from Brady Tutor. Did you ever have a problem where your bump values of a texture just doesn't seem to look quite as right in some of the areas where there should be some of the intensity or the curvature ends up looking quite flat? And this becomes quite obvious, especially when the roughness values are quite low, where the glossiness ends up showing off in the areas where some of that normal value gets picked up. The reason this happens is because the normal values are usually set in OpenGL and DirectX type of textures. And in some places like Blender, for example, you'd be able to be using OpenGL, but in Unreal Engine itself, you're going to be using DirectX. So what this means is basically if you're using the same kind of textures, the same kind of material PBR values, you're going to get materials that aren't going to look quite exactly the same. So the way you're going to be able to fix it is simply by making use out of the OpenGL value and flipping them to DirectX values. So essentially, this is a rather simple process. In order to convert an OpenGL value into a DirectX within the normal map itself, what you can do is simply open up the texture map. Then within the top right hand corner, if I were to expand this, we have ourselves the details tab. And if we were to scroll this down onto the texture tab, let's go ahead and open this up. We're going to find ourselves advanced tab which if we were to expand this, we're going to have a couple of extra options to play with. One of is going to be called Flip Green Channel. Essentially, DirectX and OpenGL, the only difference in it is that they have flipped green values. And by simply, if I were to slightly scroll out of the view, by simply clicking on Flip Green Channel, what we can do is just, we simply flip those values around, essentially turning ourselves from OpenGL normal map to direct x now if we have a look we can see the way it interacts with our own texture map i'm just going to make this window slightly smaller and show you what, what it looks like before and after so right away we can see that it gives us much more depth in our crevices within this type of a texture essentially giving us a much nicer type of a look within our material so that's pretty much it in order to set ourselves up with a single material for the PBR value that makes use out of the OpenGL texture map and turns it into the direct X. But let's just say that we have multiple materials to make use out of and we can't just go into normal maps and flip them one by one. It would take too long of a time, especially if you have a large project. So what do you do if you want to kind of assign everything into one and get yourself a really nice type of a setup that automatically converts all of your normal maps from OpenGL to DirectX? that we're going to open ourselves with a material i'm just going to locate the normal map which is over here the one that's connected to the normal node and now we're going to simply go ahead and flip ourselves the normal channel within the material graph and for us to do that we can get ourselves a node that will help us out with it we're going to right click on a material graph find ourselves a node that's called flatten normal so this one over here we're going to get ourselves this and if we were to just simply connect this to the normal graph and get ourselves the flatness value which by default is zero we can even preview this within our material node i'm going to right click start preview mode and i'm going to switch to a mesh plane primitive which will show us the type of a normal texture that we're getting out of this. So by default, it's not going to change anything. If we were to click and hold one and tap on material graph to get ourselves a new float value that we can now connect onto the value strength for the flatness, we can uh, adjust this to get ourselves the right results. So by increasing this value, we could we could lower down the strength of a normal map. So for example, 0.5 will get us this sort of a result and changing this to a one, we'd basically flatten everything out. But once we go past one, we'd be able to basically invert the entire value. So changing this to a value of two will essentially invert this type of a normal result. So we can see on this one over here, we're inverting it. So if we were to go back on to our normal, texture that we had previously so i'm just going to preview it so before you can see that this over here in a rock surface 
over here, we can see that this was a totally different type of a value. But now once we start previewing over here, we can see that the entire normal map has been flipped and now essentially changed into a direct X. So all we got to do now is connect this to a normal map. And I'm going to click Control S to apply and save out the entire shader. And actually, we might as well to set ourselves up for this material, we can just simply change everything into a parameter. So I'm just going to do that real quick. I'm going to call this one base color like so. This one, right click, call it a roughness like so. And this one right here, call this AO, ambient occlusion. And finally, this one over here is going to be normal like so. So now we can compile this, control S to save it out, close this down. I'm just going to make sure I click S to make sure that we get everything right. And essentially now we can right click, create material instance. And within a material instance, we're going to be able to change these values around. So yeah, by putting a normal value into this material, we'll be able to switch out a normal texture map that was using OpenGL and basically use it as a direct X. But that's pretty much it in regards to this short tutorial. Thanks so much for watching and yeah, happy modeling everyone.